This is a teardown video of a Fortinet 4860D firewall. I've already taken all the screws out of it, so it's nothing too exciting. There's three screws along the bottom of the face, one which is under a little security sticker. And there's two in the back. There also was a grounding screw, which doesn't really serve any structural purpose, but I just took it out because I could. And there the cover kind of slides off and comes up. Pretty simple board, held down with four screws. Thought it was kind of interesting. Zoom here and here a little bit. The screws have a little bit of a raised flat surface on them for holding down the board in place. Normally they would put that on the standoff side of things. I'm not sure why they put that on the screws. Seems like that would just make it more expensive to make, but I don't know. Nice feature, I suppose. But yeah, just simply four screws holding the board down. Just a basic steel case, and this is the board. It does have an internal clock battery, so if you have issues, you may have to replace that. And these heat sinks are just held down with spring loaded pegs. Wipe the thermal compound off of them. Maybe. There we go. Might need some rubbing alcohol for this. This stuff's kind of dry and crusty. Good enough for my purposes. <laughs> Looks like it's their own custom processor. Fortinet 40 SOC2. Don't know. <laughs> and then, um, let's see if we can get the Broadcom chip, which I'm assuming is probably the controller chip for all the networking ports. So, yeah, some memory. I believe that is probably a memory chip for the network controller chip. There's spots on the board that were left unpopulated. These do have a wireless option, so my guess is this is where a mini PCI slot would go for a wireless card, along with the screws to hold it down. I don't know if these supported a uh, sell your card or not because I don't think in this generation of wireless card they made ones that were, that were this long so I'm guessing that these must have had an option for sell your internet connectivity but overall simple board cleaner than uh, some of their older generation ones I know with the, I believe it's the 60 C's, a lot more electrolytic capacitors along with uh, removable storage and internal uh, CF card. And actually speaking of that, I believe this right here may be an optional spot for uh, either an SD card or a SIM card. I don't know. That'd be something where you'd have to check the documentation, I guess, and see what options these things had. But, yeah, luckily it looks like these newer boards aren't plagued with the leaking capacitor issues, since there's only two capacitors on the board. So, yeah, thanks for watching.